What's up guys this is Rakesh here once again welcome and today we are going to see how you can create the Nokri profile also we will see how you can optimize your Nokri profile so this is the two topic which we are going to see in this session and guys this session is for whom this session is for fresher as well as the experienced guy and guys before I start my today's session I would like to tell that I have created one Facebook page over there I post the openings for the freshers and uh, you can go and like my facebook page and get the update on the latest openings okay guys so let's start with the our today's session and first we will see the how you can create the better nokri account or i can say the better nokri profile and second later on we will see how you can optimize your uh, nokri profile optimization means uh, how you can get the more calls from the nokri.com by creating this way which i am going to tell you okay guys so these are the two topic which we are going to see and let's begin with the today's session so guys this is my nokri profile which we are going to take as an example and we will go through this profile only okay so let me begin with the my profile so this is basic information section which we are not going to discuss this is self explanatory now what all the things we will consider in this session so in this session we will consider the resume headline profile summary and then key skills then employment and then project and then it skills and then education then accomplishment all these things we will discuss in this session apart from that we will discuss also the our optimization part so let me begin with my resume headline so what is resume headline resume headline is nothing but your uh, one line sentence of your profile so how you should write the your resume headline you resume headline should be very short and crisp one line sentence which will describe your profile so this is how you need to write the uh, your resume headline for that i have created one formula for the fresher as well as the experienced guy so let's see what that formula is so this is the formula for the fresher uh, number of year of experience in that uh, fresher case you can just simply mention the fresher then it uh, sorry skill and then stream and then institute institute is optional if your institute is a grade institute then only then mention otherwise no need to mention so let's see the example so as you can see over here i have mentioned the one example again this is the customizable depending upon the your requirement okay or i can say that it's based upon the your skill set now let me show you the formula for the experience guy so this is the uh, formula for the experience guy which is nothing but your number of experience and the uh, your skill so let me show you the one example so this uh, resume headline is for the my profile or i can say the c plus plus developer and with the eight plus year of experience so what i need to write over here uh, eight plus year of solid development experience in c plus plus and oracle sql plsk linux cell scripting pulse scripting mdocs billing and single view billing system so this is how you should write if your profile is matching with the c plus plus or mdocs billing system so this is how you need to write okay guys so i hope you have understood how to write the uh, your resume headline and guys this is the resume headline is the only sentence which will be viewed on a very first uh, level or very first uh, thing will be visible to talent acquisition guys so guys be cautious be careful writing your resume headline and please write properly as i explained okay now moving on to the next one which is your profile summary so profile summary is nothing but you should write the sentence around 10 to 15 sentence about your profile so let me show you the example for the fresher so this is the uh, profile uh, summary i have written for the fresher as an example again this is customizable and depending upon the your requirement and your skill set you can change it okay and i will mention this profile summary in the description box from there you can copy it and you can edit it and you can impress the interviewer okay so again this is uh, depends upon you also so what i written over here i have 
uh, done the bachelor degree in computer science from the IIT Bombay. Uh, let me read few points over here. I have great understanding on the coding standard and coding rule and all these things you should mention in the your profile summary for the fresher. Let me show you the profile summary for the experience guy. So for that I need to refer my resume. So in my resume as I can mention as you can see over here I have mentioned very clearly what all the things I know and what is my profile is. So from here only the interviewer or talent acquisition team will get to know what exactly this profile is whether it is matching with the their requirement or not if they are confused with the, your profile then definitely they will reject so guys properly write this profile summary okay and uh, if you want to copy this profile summary and edit it then i will give the this uh, resume in the description box or i can say the link of the this resume i will give in the description box from there you can download and you can edit and you can rock it guys okay so moving on to the next one which is your key skill so guys i will come back on this key skill when i will discuss the optimization past okay but i will what i can say that on a very one line sentence you should mention whatever you know irrespective of that whether you are beginner or whether you are expert or whether you are intermediate okay i, I will come back on this so let me go on to the next section which is your employment so in, in employment these are the basic sec, uh, basic information you can mention so uh, over here what i want to uh, say that you should not mention this information because again this information will be over and it will kill you so you should not mention this information why because the talent acquisition guys doesn't know uh, technical part and all these things so you should not mention all these things over here and my resume has closed okay so let me go back on my next session so this is what i want to explain in the employment now second one which is your project so again project in project you should not mention your project detail in the uh, nokri because again talent acquisition guys will read it this project detail and they will confuse it so don't mention over okay now in the it skill what you need to mention over it this section only you need to mention otherwise all this tension you should not mention again they will confuse so at the time of interview you can explain when you use and all these things because the technical guy understand talent acquisition guy doesn't understand they should follow whatever the things are told to them by the management team okay so you should not mention over here again it will kill your profile now education detail you will feel it it's a self-explanatory now moving on to the next one which is your accomplishment so on accomplishment what you can do uh, you can mention your linkedin profile youtube profile if you are running the youtube channel if you have any patent if you have any certification then you should mention over here apart from that this is desired profile and personal detail so i will not all these things discuss so this is how you need to create your uh, nokri profile now let me go back to the my optimization part so in optimization part i will discuss three things which is your tags timing and uh, notice period these three things i will discuss in the optimization part before that let me uh, uh, explain what is optimization means optimization means uh, whenever the talent acquisition guy will search anything then your profile should get shortlist or you show your profile should uh, get into the notice of the talent acquisition team so this is what i mean to optimization so it should always come on the top whenever the uh, your talent acquisition team is searching for that uh, profile okay so this is what the uh, optimization now for the optimizing your profile what you need to do you need to put proper tags uh, yeah now you can say that what is tags tags is nothing but patterns uh, by from which the profile can be searched uh, just like for the c++ uh, uh, how uh, talent acquisition guys can search uh, just like the design pattern in c++ data structure algorithm stl multi-threading socket programming all these things are so uh, patterns or i can say that tags from these tags only they will search your profile 
and whenever any C++ requirement or socket, pro uh, socket programming related uh, requirement will come then they will feed that information and then they will search if you do not mention your tags then uh, it might be possible that your profile will not get shortlist so you should mention now you can say that where should i mention the tags man so you should mention your tags in the key skills as you can see over here i i as i promised you i will come back on this section so you should mention whatever the things you know and uh, things are related to your profile so you should mention all these things irrespective of that whether you are beginner whether you are proficient or whether you are intermediate you should mention as you can see over here i am not that much great in the data structure and algorithm but still i have mentioned over here i have mentioned over here socket programming also but i can i cannot see over here but i have mentioned it okay now you can see over here design pattern is also i have mentioned i am not aware with the, all the 40 plus design pattern but i have still mentioned so why i mentioned because i want to get shortlist by the talent acquisition team if you do not mention then your profile will not short and you will not get the your job dream job okay uh, now where all you should mention the your tags either you can mention in your resume actual word document either you can mention in the your key skill and either you can mention in the you are a resume headline i would suggest please write in the uh, profile summary of your resume in the word document so uh, whenever the uh, nokri search engine uh, search any particular keyword then it will go inside that resume and it will find and it will give so please mention properly the tags now uh, uh, moving on to the next uh, part or second optimization way is which is your when you are updating your profile so you should update your profile in between the 8 30 to 10 30 so that your profile always will be on the top and whenever the talent acquisition guys come in between the they generally come on the around 9 or 10 o'clock and they start to finding the candidate so your profile will be always on the top and guys this is test test and trial uh, method and this is not only by me my friend also okay so please uh, update your profile in between the 8 30 to 10 30 if you are finding your job so please update your profile now moving on to the next one which is your notice period guys many many people are facing problem of three month a notice period so guys for that what i can give you solution update your uh, your nokri profile notice period as a 45 days and now you can say that how you can i can update since i have three months so on that whenever the recruiter will call so what you can say that i have officially a notice period as a 90 days but i can negotiate up to 45 days now they will ask how you can negotiate 45 days you have three months so you can say that my project is about to end and i'm going on bench so i can definitely assure you that uh, in, in the 99 percent i will get release very soon within the 45 days so this is how you can convince your recruiter and uh, your profile will be get shortlist and you can get the, your dream job so guys this is how you need to do so so far what we have discussed uh, we we have discussed the how to create the your uh, no creep profile and how you can optimize your uh, profile and guys let me show you one more example i forget it okay let me show you the uh, optimization part and the tag uh, part uh, so this is the tag which i want to show you this i forget so you can see over here they have mentioned some tags and based upon this tags only the, i got this mail if i do not mention that tags properly i could have not get this uh, mail let me show you one more example this is again tags this is nothing but the patterns or i can say the tags i have mentioned properly so that's why i'm getting the uh, this uh, uh, emails otherwise i could have not get the emails you can see over here yeah i have mentioned all this so these all uh, patterns are matching to my profile and in the these words are in the my uh, resume so that's why i'm getting this uh, mails so guys this is what i want to tell you i forget it okay 
I hope uh, this video will help you and you have understood the how to optimize the your profile and uh, how to create the Nokri account and if you like the video then please hit the like button share it and if you want to get the regular update on my channel then don't forget to subscribe my channel this is typical line guys but on a very few frank side guys if seriously you like the my video then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel okay guys this red button you need to press so this is what i want to say so guys in next session we will meet with a new topic